Hello, Emilia. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Um, uh, I'm very glad um, that you play something for me. Um, what do you want to play? Uh, so the options are Mozart's uh, Violin Concerto 5, first movement, or Paganini Caprice, 21st okay. one. Okay, good. So why don't you start with the Mozart? With Mozart, okay. Yeah? Mm, okay. Do you want to play until here, or uh, do you, did you prepare the cadenza as well, or...? Uh, I, I do have a cadenza, I, I can play it if you Okay, want. you know, what we could do, we could, we could work a little bit uh, up to here, and then mm -hmm. if, you, if you want, you can play the cadenza, or we, we do Paganini, you can decide, okay? Okay. Um, so, I, I, uh, very many good things. Um, 
that are very difficult. Uh, you, it's it's uh, it's it's very much in tune, which is very difficult in in Mozart. I like very much. Yeah, I like very much. Also, um, you have a very big variety uh, how you how you articulate, and at the same time, um, it's. Uh, something that you do uh, I really like and on the other side sometimes you have um, too much articulation for example sometimes you have slurs where it should I shouldn't hear any articulation and um, sometimes uh, when you play legato it's not really uh, the notes are not connected enough and um, in general, I like it's 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 very interesting how you play, but I'm missing a little bit different characters, and as you probably know, um, Mozart is very famous for 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 opera. So if you if you think about um, famous pieces by by Mozart, what 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 would come to your mind? Um, do you have any idea? Uh, well, um, um, like the uh, uh, Don Juan, maybe, or yeah. the opera, or the yes, uh, <laughs> Figaro. Um, Figaro, uh, yes, very good. <laughs> Figaro, yes. Th those, those things, mostly. Yeah. Yes. Did you did you watch any of them? Yeah, we are. Yeah. On, did on you go to the opera, <laughs> or did you watch it on on TV? Uh, may, maybe both. I can both. Them, great. I have, okay. Great. I well, I, you know, uh, for me, you know, I I played in an opera orchestra for uh, some time, so I I heard a lot of of this. So Magic Flute, Figaro, uh, Idomeneo, and all those all those famous pieces. And uh, why I mention it because um, I think the most probably the most popular pieces by Mozart are probably the the, the operas, the piano concertos, mm -hmm. and so there. So there is something in the music, also in the violin concerto that could should be a little bit like an opera, you know. And uh, when you play it, it's quite. Um, it's very well played, but it's an instrumental piece, you know, so mm -hmm. it's something, it's a little bit, you know, I can see you can do very good spiccato, you can, you have a good detaché, you can shift, so it's everything, it's a little technical for me, you know, and uh, in op, what is very special in opera is that um, you have different characters, so uh, and especially in this piece you know you have this very beautiful slow introduction which is a little bit like an opera when the, you know the curtain opens you know mm -hmm. so it's basically uh, like a scenery and the curtain opens and uh, it's something um, like it leaves the the the, um, the audience wants to have is kind of in a suspense mood okay mm -hmm. so and then the the actual opera or piece starts uh, like two minutes later you know and what is very typical in the opera uh, especially in the you know um, Mozart opera you have um, very different characters who they appear on stage very suddenly and you have to give a very, very, um, you know, you have to give right away a certain attitude or a certain mood to the person. So uh, basically that's something I'm missing a little bit. I would try to bring this out in the, in the music. So uh, certain, um, so you can, you, can, you can connect certain parts of the music to a certain character. And um, so, why why don't you start uh, one more time from the beginning? From the beginning. And okay. um, let's try again. And and keep in mind this uh, legato uh, thing, okay? Mm -hmm.
okay, okay. So for me, it you know, c can you can you try to imagine something, a picture or something? Uh, what you know, uh, you could have, for example, um, I, uh, a forest, or you could have a house that is depicted, or you could have uh, a mountain or something. It's very different, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, do, ca can you imagine something, or um, a, a picture? Try to to think of something. After that, I will. I no. L uh, tell me what what no, you no. what you. Uh, uh, maybe like a. Um, no, let's say that there's a house. There's there's a river. Uh, near the where the action is going to happen. So maybe there's some forests or fjords near and, mm -hmm. and something like that. Uh, I kind of yeah, why associate not? it. Why not? Yeah. But is it, is, it, is it quite calm or is it, uh, you know, is there a dog running around or is it, uh, is it very, um, is there a lot of light or is there less light? You know, um, it depends in the morning or is it in the evening or is it, uh, you know, when uh, like a hundred people are walking around? For me, it feels like it's quite empty and, and quite yes. calm. Uh, yes. But like there's this yeah. suspense, that something yes. is about to happen. But Yes, like exactly. That. So it's a little bit like, uh, you know, the, 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 for example, I, I could imagine, for example, the, the sun is going up, you know, there's not a lot mm -hmm. of light. And basically before, you know, the orchestra plays and then there is, there is silence. And then you stop, uh, you, you start and you are completely alone. So you can, you can really start very soft, but there should be a connection between the notes. So uh, can play, play, the, play the beginning one more time. Okay, okay, sorry to interrupt. So it's a very small detail, but um, I hear already interruption between the first two notes. So I hear this. Um, but can you try, because uh, I would try to connect the note a little more. So um, And this is a surprise. So, okay, so you said with the first chord, you kind of, uh, you, you set the, the mood, okay? Mm -hmm. And the notes have to be connected. They are not separate. No, no. But it's one thing. And the, I think the third one is the, you know, it's the sun going up and finally the sun is up. Okay, so it starts. Okay, start one more time. Hmm? Very good. Okay, okay. Very small thing. You know, you play this very often in audition. So the f the intonation of the first chord is very important so it's very tempting to play the third a little high so be careful that this doesn't become too hard one more time I hear again, you know, you heard it yourself. Mm -hmm. Try again. Ah, better. Good. Okay, but don't don't go away so f so far because it's the sun that goes down again, you know. <laughs> so no, don't don't release the bow too much. Okay, one more time. Good. 
Okay, can you try to give a different color to the G and... It's got surprise. Okay, so this is the general picture, and would be nice if you have a big, like, if you could, if you have a big line, so it doesn't be that it's not small parts. So it's like in a picture, you have different elements, but they connect to 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 a mood. Okay, one more time. Better. Okay, can you, Emilia? Can you try for me just to, uh, can you play on one note? And I don't want to hear the bow change. Can you try? Huh? Huh? That was a good one. That that was a very good one. Make sure you don't turn the that the bow that the the angle of the bow doesn't turn this way. Okay, <laughs> so you try to keep the same. So and try to keep the connection with the with the string. So you have to feel the string. So don't do like this, okay? I exaggerate, of course, but keep the angle the same, like this, okay? Try. Ah, go, go a little more to the bridge. A little more to the bridge. Yeah. Go to the very tip. So really half, uh, try uh, the upper half, which means you start exactly in the middle and you go exactly to the tip, okay? So you use the entire half bow, okay? Like this, okay? And so the, 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 the tone should, you should sustain the volume. So I don't want to diminish the, to the tip so not like this, but like this, okay? So you try to keep, so basically try, it's like, you know, the, the wind instruments, for example, they, they can, they have something, usually they have to take breath, right? So according to our instrument, is when we change the bow, the wind instruments, they have to take breath but they have something that they can breathe while they are playing you know so they take in the some i don't know exactly how i'm not a wind player but they take in the the air while they are playing so they they blow out the, the air here and they they breathe in at the same time it's very difficult so basically we have to find something uh, because our bow is very limited so if we want to hold a note really very long, we have to find a way so we don't have interruption. Yeah. So for this, it's crucial that you don't get softer at, the, at a certain part. And of course, at the tip, it's much, usually we get softer because it's at the frog, it's very easy to play loud. And at the tip, we have to press. So it's a very natural thing, but one has to be conscious about it and try to invest more energy at the tip and less energy in the middle so it's even okay can you try one more time so no diminuendo a little more to the to the to the bridge try ah no you know i hear this kind of sound now it's just this is just um you know it's something you can use for any piece basically so uh, try to have a good sound it's only about the bow change okay because that's something uh, that would be worth if you if you can really control it as you like right I'll yeah yeah
Okay, you know, if I listen, if I listen very carefully, I hear always at the end of the note, it's getting a little softer. Here and there, and because of that, I have there's a little hole. What I would like. that you are able to sustain it. Try one more time. <clears throat> yes, that's, that's much better. Okay, okay, that's much better. You know, and this is quite a piano sound. It's not very loud, but it has a core. And if you play as a soloist uh, with the orchestra, in this case, okay, there's nobody else playing uh, just for the first chord. But in general, if you play piano, you have to have a certain core to the sound. And this applies to the entire, to the entire piece. Can you try one more time? And now you try to connect the, the, the chord. Good. It's better. It's better. More. And most to the frog. Yes. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. So, you know, the last note sounds a little, sounds a little uh, pressed. And this is because you didn't go to the frog. So, you start here. Now you have to take more bore to the frog. And then you have the whole bow for this note, okay? Good. Try. Hmm? So the second note, you have to go to the frog. Now to the frog. Hmm? Uh, better. Good. Okay, okay, so I think you, 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 you hear very well and you, you, you know what I'm talking about and that was already much better, okay? So uh, try to apply that, Pl do it one more time, one more time and then go on. Crescendo, crescendo, yes, good. Not too high, yes, good. And now different color. Good. 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 Okay. Okay. So, so you know, for this small note, the small notes sometimes they need a little more. You know, if you play in a big hall, I no, I have headphones. I can hear. I can hear the small note. But you have to articulate. Mm. No. Not to, not the... Um. Can you play from there? Um. Huh? Huh? You know? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going, I'm, I'm talking about small details because they make the playing better, uh, you know? Because in general you play very well. So we have to look for small details to, to make it back better. So, um, you have to have this kind of sound quality, not this. In a big hall, you won't hear that. More to the bridge, more to the bridge. Yes. Huh? Yes. this so you have to have a little 
little attack there and there. Otherwise, hmm? yes. Okay, okay, okay. That's exaggerated. Uh, try something in between. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, okay. So, uh, you know, now uh, it's very good, but be careful with the rhythm so it doesn't get longer. Um, we were talking about before in Mozart like every phrase kind of has a meeting uh, has a meaning so uh, so it would be nice if they have a different character the two um, can you try to make it not um, that doesn't sound exactly the same Okay, better. Be careful, it doesn't sound... So, really legato. No matter which point you play. Huh? Look, I hear this. Mm. It's like you know, it's it's like a like a ball that is rolling rolling down. Okay, so very natural. Um. Mm, try. Okay, be careful with the intonation. Yeah, not mm -hmm. too low. Better, better. Better. Okay, okay, okay. Here again, be careful that you don't, um, you lose the, t the, the tension. That's a triton, tri triton. Uh, well, I don't know how to say English. So tritonos, okay? <laughs> so that has really to hurt. If you lose the, if you lose the energy, it doesn't really, you know, for people we are used to so, to a lot now. But back then, this was really an event, you know. Um, so. You have to connect the notes. Mm. Uh, from here, one more time. In mm. the direction. Ah. Okay. Emilia, be careful, it's not in tune. Mm. Not to iron. Mm. Good, better. Good. Better. Okay, you know. Okay, I'm 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 saying you a lot of a lot of things, you know. And uh, I know the time is short, but you have a lo you have time to think about it after. There are two elements for the for the legato. One is that, of course, uh, if you do this, you know, if you separate with the bow, 
then you won't have a legato. But the, at the same time, when you stop the vibrato, if you vibrate and if you stop the vibrato, you have also a little interruption. So if you have something like this, mm, it would be nice if, this is a difficult stretch, I know, uh, but it would be nice if the vibrato continues. So um, you see, I don't, I don't stop the hand. And for this, it helps to put the finger before. So if you have a, if you have this finger, and then you put this finger, then you have a hole, but you have to put the finger a little before, you see? It's already there. So if I do, then I have a hole. You see? Can you see? Yeah, I can see. Yeah. So, uh, you have to be with the left hand. The, the, the finger has to be there already, and then you don't have a hole in the vibrato. Okay. So. Uh, try. Vibrate. Ah, no. Look, look at your no. Look, look at your hand. Mm -hmm. And look at the f f first finger. So the first finger has to be down, you see? Not, but try. Look at your hand. Look at your hand. Put it down. Now look at your hand. First finger. Ah. Okay, let's try. Let's try so, like this. Can you try? Put down the first finger. No, I put down the first finger before. First finger. Yes. Okay. So start with the fourth finger, only the fourth finger. So you can see. One more time. Look. So I f start with the fourth finger. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. The computer is sliding. Just give me a second because uh, this looks very dangerous. Uh, just a second, yeah? Okay, can you see me fine? Yes, yes, I can. Yeah? Okay. Okay, try one more time. And can you come a little closer to the camera and turn a little bit to the side? Yes, come a little bit closer. Yes, yes, very good. Come a little closer. Yes, very good. Yes, okay, okay. No, no problem. So this is the idea. So. Right. And vibrate the fourth finger, okay? Yes. One more time. Right. One more time. Try. So really lift the, f the first finger is not on the string. down yes okay so you know this is the idea when you play this it's the same thing okay so you put the first finger before you play it and then you do, you have the connection because right now what we hear is separate notes 
but mm -hmm. not connected notes, but it's slurred. So it's like a singer who would breathe and connect the notes. And I can hear like little technical things that make it sound like two different notes, but it has to has to be together also. Okay, so that's the idea. Mm. We have the, those two kind of, you know, a singer has his voice and we have things that help us to imitate the voice, which is the bow and our fingers, right? But of course, it's like having a tool, you know, and we have to make it as natural as possible. And in the end, the audience doesn't care if we have, if we use fingers or our voice, but it's, it's the same thing we want to achieve. So you want to imitate the voice. So you have to put the finger before, so we don't, we don't even hear that you use it. Okay. Mm -hmm. The voice, I don't, I don't see as well. So, okay. Try one more time. So really connect the... Okay. Ah. First finger. Better. Ah. Okay. So, you know, this is something you have to get used to. But I think you got the idea. I get yeah? it, yes. Yes? Okay, so you work on this, and it's a, you know it's a it's a it's an awkward um, this this jump is awkward. So we have to we ha one has to practice it and get used to it. But the idea is, you have to be there with your first finger before you play the note. Okay, okay, let's go on. Okay, that can be, you know, you have this entire introduction, you know, which sets the scenery and it should end kind of self-confident. Right now it's kind of in between. So. Pray from here. Careful, you you do have enough bow for the last. Um. That it doesn't get uh, completely okay. Okay, let's go on. Okay, 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 Emilia. So, okay, can you what, what kind of character here so you have the introduction beautiful introduction and now so can you imagine something what's happening uh, I imagine it's the female lead right now yes she's uh, singing her first aria maybe yes uh, as introduction of herself yes so and what is what like is that. the what is the i mean what is the character is she like you know uh, is she rather is a strong woman or uh, like ve very young uh, lively woman or strong like uh, somebody self-confident or uh, rather playful a little shy what? it seems like it's more of a confident person yes it doesn't I seem like so. shy yes Yes, very good. Yes, mm -hmm. I think that for me, I mean, everybody can decide, but for me as well. So really, um, so really, you know, okay, good, good, okay, okay. Okay, okay, no, no problem. I know it's very hard. So, uh, no problem. I, you know, in the end, I prefer 
in the end it has to be in tune but you know the expression is very important so now so rather too much energy than than uh, too little so and but even here you have to it has to become more so the loudest note is not but mm, So the lower note you have to use as a kind of um, like something to to jump on. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like a trampoline. So it's somebody who is like j jumping uh, one step higher. You know, imagine there's a stage and there's different levels, and she's. While singing, she's going higher and higher, you know, just to express her like uh, attitude or like her her spirit. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can you? Yes. Can Can you use even a little more the lower note to to you know if you jump up you have always one foot that has to push you mm -hmm. so um, not so you have to use more bow for the small note look I exaggerate okay it's exaggerated much exaggerated but uh, Otherwise, it sounds like okay. <laughs> yes, better. Better. Good. Good. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Now, if you have this, uh, make sure we don't lose the small notes. for the separate note so uh, not so for the separate bows a little more bow mm -hmm. ah. Ah. Yeah. can you play, play like this please like this uh, small balls yes the small notes one more time good okay 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 so now there's a little technical problem when you when you play uh, when you play here they are long and when you play they are short you know mm -hmm. and i know i don't want to hear a difference it should sound the same because we don't care what boy you at bo which part of the bow you are and this is jo only something to help you to express so it doesn't matter if you play up bow or down bow ideally it should be sound the same thing so which means if you play too high on the bow if you play it's not possible here so mm -hmm. you have to find a spot where you can where it sounds the same so not too high on the bone huh? mm -hmm. so nice sound quality and I don't care up bow down bow should sound the same play it a little lower lower Play it a little lower on the bow. 
yes. Mm-hmm. Better. Yes, that's better. That's very good. That sounds much better. So. things to think about so uh, don't worry that w- you, you will figure it out so now make sure you don't play uh, so it has to have a, what, what is the um, kind of the the, 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 the a, where is the phrase aiming to where is it what do you think? For me, it seems like to the um, this, this. Yes, exactly. So, which is difficult. You have to do it consciously because a very natural thing is to play. A and to have this louder as well. So, you have to make a choice. So, uh, not. Right? Otherwise, it sounds all the... If you don't do it really consciously, it sounds all a little bit the same. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, can you play... uh, So, you have to have a direction. That's also very good. So, um, mm. mm-hmm. so it's like you know, you, you there are two questions, and there you go. Uh, uh, huh? So different character and uh, be careful the emphasis is not on the long note which is the like it's you know it's very easy to do because you have you can use the entire bow it's not try from here what more most Okay, very good. There is is again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
you know, there's too much difference. So, mm -hmm. um, uh, can you play from here and from there? Not too soft. Good. More. Yes, forte. Okay, okay. So you know, in the end, it's up to you. If you want it kind of on the string detaché, it's fine. But then try to have um, to have it really like a, a big sound and mm -hmm. rather articulated detaché. And if you have want to have more articulation, not so high on the bow button. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Okay, let's go on. Okay, okay, there was something I was, I, I um, found when you played through as well. Sometimes the small notes get a little lost. So you are a little too. And the open A string is fine for me. It's just about the character. And for me, I would, I would prefer if this, this is for me, this, uh, you can, if you imagine what kind of instrument would play this part, like if this wasn't a conch like a, like a symphony and the, the different instruments play certain uh, parts. What instrument could you imagine? Mm. It's rather some wind instrument or mm -hmm. a brass instrument or a string or uh, even percussion, a uh, timpani or... Uh, <laughs> For me it sounds a lot like a clarinet playing. I, I don't know why but the, the death session is just there. Yes, but you know just from experience, like in the operas, a clarinet is very often um, used when it when it's it's about love, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. like uh, something very yeah. romantic. It's it's a an instrument that was not uh, quite often in the orchestra. There isn't even a clarinet at that time. Yeah. You know, so this was right. a very special. No, no, I mean, it's fine. You can say whatever you feel like. But, um, you know, uh, for me, for me, it's not a very romantic uh, passage. I could imagine, think about it, for example, like a French horn, you know. So it's like, uh, like you know, like uh, you know, people are on the horse, and somebody is uh, like a signal. Mm -hmm. uh, try, try to play a little more, uh, like signal, like. Mm -hmm. hmm? Huh? I, hmm? I'm missing the small notes. A little more bow for the small notes. Good! Nice! Very nice. Okay, go on. Mm -hmm. Yes? Ah. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think there's again that you are a little late with, with the left hand. So because you play play first finger for the G sharp or what? Yes, yes, first yes. finger. So you have to, if you play like this, you're too late with the left hand. Can you see my finger? Mm -hmm. Okay, not. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. 
Okay. Hmm? Look. You have to be there with your finger before. Um, You know, uh, you know it? when uh, it uh, it can always you can uh, can happen small small um, errors. Yes. yes. So never mind. Next time will be better. I appreciate. You know, important is that you hear it and you change it, but mm -hmm. um, d don't make such a big fuss about it. So you know, I hear you hear, and the next time you you try you try to so it's in tune. So, no problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Okay, okay, okay. So, now you have diff completely different kind of uh, motive. And you have... Um, So there should be it should be like you know night and day, so mm -hmm. it sounds a little the same. Actually, for me, it's like a dialogue. Mm -hmm. So there should be two people, two different characters, two different people, and one kind of is asking something. And that's kind of the answer for me. You know, mm -hmm. so um, this is more, it's a little more forceful. Mm. And this is kind of the, the maybe it's a, it's a boy and a girl talking to each other. And he wants something from her and she's kind of, you know, mm -hmm. not so convinced. <laughs> or she kind of uh, makes fun of him or something like this, you mm -hmm. know, bring that out. Okay, for my personal taste, this is a little, uh, this is a little too, um, you know, it's not a young, uh, it's a little too, um, too, um, in German we say brav, it's a little too, it's not, has to be, has to be more, more bite to it, you know, it's a young mm -hmm. guy, it's not, uh, it's not a grandfather, so, it sounds a little bit like uh, with the beard, so, So more articulation would be nice. Mm -hmm. huh? Can you go? Um... More articulation. Good. 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 Nice. Yes. Okay, be careful because it's a yes, technical it's thing really also. Difficult. The first, no problem. The first node is stronger. I see this. Mm -hmm. So if you vibrate a little bit, then the first node. And, and not only the second, otherwise it's on. Mm -hmm. Okay. First note. Yes. Good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so basically, I don't, I don't say you have to vibrate or whatever. But 
if you vibrate a little bit then both notes or the first one a little more but not only the second one mm -hmm. okay yeah okay mm -hmm. so I, I i think um you know there you you play really wonderfully and there are so many small things we could uh talk about and, and work on because there are so many details uh so thank you for the wonderful job thank and you um yes and i think I gave you a couple of more things and you can apply them to, to, uh, to many, many places. And it's, mm -hmm. it's, you have more, if I tell you something specific, then like, uh, you know, something that can improve your playing, like in general, because you can apply that to, uh, to all different kinds of, of pieces. So, um, so uh nice to see you all the best and the best um you know I, I i wish we would have more time i wish so too thank okay, you very much take care bye bye all the Goodbye. best see you yes see you <laughs>